It is game day five for Great Britain and today they face the might of Finland and leading GB out is Joey Lewis just in front of me. He has that extra few moments to the ice for himself because today it's a special moment for him because he makes his debut cap. As you can see, the rest of the team follow him onto the ice for a massive game for GB against another one of the best teams in the world. What a big night for the fans and for everyone associated with GB. It is game day five for them, GB v Finland, and this is what happened. Robert Farmer battling for it in his own left wing corner, deep inside his own zone, and now Hammond opens things up, and it's with Robert Dabb. Quick outlet goes to Robert Farmer. Farmer puts the brakes on space for Farmer, finds Hammond back door. What a chance that was! Great defensive play because Robert Dowd was flying back, and I think in the end they just about to get enough on that to touch it away. Yeah, that's good D by Finland there, but uh, excellent exit from the boys in. There's a man down the middle, it's Hammond, Dowd doesn't spot him initially. He lugs it into the left wing corner himself, needs help, doesn't have any yet. Now banks it off the back, boys, what a chance side netting! Oh, that was lovely play by Hammond. Alongside Yanni Hakamba. 14-43 remaining. In his first session, it is Finland nil, Great Britain nil. GB have 30 more seconds to, to kill on this power play. There's another shot comes in. Oh, that nearly did everybody. Ben Bounds is scrabbling out in front. It's underneath him. He's still alive. Another chance to try and finish off. Great stick by Richardson. And GB can clear all the way down the ice. What a scramble. Jeez, we made, uh, we made hard work at that end. Uh, but like you say, scramble defense, and we managed to get it clear. Uh, but you mentioned there we had 30 seconds left on the kill just before that uh, scramble play happens. Had we got that puck 200 feet, maybe we'd be 5-on-5 five five right now. Um, but nevertheless, uh, the boys did what they had to to <laughs> Browner there flying around. Shoved on the boards. Still Finland have possession again. Now the training pass play. Good save, bounds. Really, really good because that was Kako who was just arriving late on the play and Bounds got out to the top of his crease quickly to deny the youngster. Yeah, excellent save by Browner there. Uh, like you say, cut down the angle. Um, again, I mean, <laughs> these teams are so good. You make a little mistake there and look at that. Finland will reset inside their own zone. They have it with Lettinen. One back though by Betridge on the right side into the offensive zone. Betridge needs help, snaps this one in. Oh, oh rebound pops out, goes just wide of the stick of Jonathan Phillips, who was on rushing. Look at this, though. We throw it from the outside. Oh, and uh, it's what you mentioned before the stick battles. Yeah, yeah, we go. There's a stick battle. Um, you know, John is. He's going to the net, doesn't have his stick down on the ice just quick enough, and the Finnish guy, uh, you know, could bat it away. But uh, that's a garbage shot by Oli, and uh, it causes problems for him, and we need to do more of that. He's <laughs> you can laughing. see him on the bench there saying, I can't whack my stick hard enough. The gap tooth grin nope. as the shot comes in from Letton and rebound pops out. There's Ben Bounds, where's the puck? It's underneath him. He's just closed everything up. You wouldn't have been able to slip a penny between these pads. If you can, I know we're on radio here, but if you can see a TV screen, you know, it's not just Browner doing the job there. Look, there's three bodies, five, four, five bodies all around the crease there, outnumbering uh, the Finnish guys. That... It is going to be Mikola who brings it into the zone, the 70. Big, strong, rangy figure. No Mose. Ah, tavern man. Penalty coming. And Evan Mosey is going, he says, what, what? I had my stick one side, my hand the other. Maybe just... Yeah, this in this tournament, this... In this these type of tournaments, that is a penalty, unfortunately. I mean, look, we can see here again on the replay. Uh, he's got his stick in there, and he just does a little twist, and uh, unfortunately, you can't... The stick inside is fine, it's the twist in motion, which is the uh, problem there, and we get the two-minute hook and call. Lettinen. At the side of his own net, he watches on as Jonathan Phillips swings by. Reala will bring it pressure, in, pressure into the offensive oh, zone. Oh, no. Picks out the top corner. 
absolute snipe from the Finns. Tony Real with a wonderful shot from the top of the circle. He just had plenty of freedom and he finished it with some style. Yeah, it's uh, well. I was just I was just about to say pressure, pressure, and uh, let's watch it here again on the replay. Picks it up in the neutral zone, and uh, I mean that is a fantastic shot. Look at that, right in the. You can't get a much more top corner than that. It was and, uh, Brown is slightly screened by Richie, I think maybe, but um, not much you can do about those ones. You just have to sometimes say that's an excellent shot, and. Uh, now we got to start again, one goal down, 40 to go. Suravainen takes it to the outside. That's fine, we'll make him take the long route round. That's no problem. In comes Kirk, finishing on his check. He goes back to the blue line, though. And now the Finns go again. Ah. Oh, what a finish. Wonderful shot. Adama snapped that one upstairs. There was a great big pile of players in front. A really big one-on-one -on -one battle. There's very little Ben Bounds could see in front of him. And the Finns have doubled that advantage. They now lead by two goals to nil. Yeah, I mean, they do a good job getting bodies to the net there. But I think what really causes that goal is uh, uh, whoever skates the puck in here, look, wins a two on one on two battle, gets it up. And then we're out of our coverage box. And um, yeah, that's a good shot again. I mean, he gets it past the first. Uh, our first guy, Ben Davis, you know, with that little dragon shoot and uh, beats Brown a short side. And you can see they got 12 in front, he's 6 8, so he's taken away a lot of uh, a lot of ice there. Like you said, I have, I have never done this with GB, so um, new experience for me. And uh, I don't want to do it too many more times, that's for sure. Do you know what it means? And this, this is the thing that. Oh, oh chance out of here front. Here's Beveridge with the shot. Good job, all. Beveridge. Nearly hammered that one home. Um, what does it mean, Seth? Sorry. The, the, you and Jonathan Phillips now don't have the same number of caps. I know. We were talking about uh, we're roommates, and uh, we were talking about that the other day. And uh, it's a shame, you know, two Cardiff boys. It would have been lovely to, um, you know, when we eventually do call it a day from the from the game to uh, retire with the same number of caps. So. I don't know. I, I think sometimes when you when you're playing more, you're into a rhythm, you're into a groove. Um, so I don't know. Like I say, I think half a dozen of one, six of the other on that. So back he goes towards the blue oh, line, tipped no. in front, good save, ah. rebound goal. Finland make it three. Bounds made the first save, but driving so hard to the net, they had the opportunity. Finland and GB just can't contain. 34 minutes. And 59 seconds into this game, and Finland have another goal, a goal that comes from a more hard work in the offensive Look at zone. This. Unfortunately, Steve just, the guy gets a step on Steve, and uh, you know, Bouncy makes, like you say, makes the first day, 41 does a great job digging it out there. Here we go, Brown has gone out the net here. Um, this is key face-off now. Yeah, they could do, but the boys have played, like I said, they've played an excellent game, and it's it's odd saying being so positive. Yeah, keep that in. Someone get down there. Far on the boards. Battles for Come that on, one. Okay. First one across is Ben O'Connor. So the net is gaping to my right-hand side. There's three minutes and 20 seconds still remaining. Here That's is nice Farmer play. into the zone. He's got options. Feeds it back. Door oh! off the side of the net. That was a lovely bit of play. Yeah. And that just goes to show that we can, when we get a bit of time and get a bit of space, we can make the plays that is required to get a puck to where we want it to be. And that's the that's the net. But um, O'Connor gets it to the oh, top. Unlucky. Come on, Dowdy. Come on, Dowdy. He battles oh, nice for that try. one. Threw himself at it. Uh, GB have it back again. It's with Farmer. Farmer goes back door. What a chance. Got to get there, Hammy. Got to get there. Hopped over the Great stick job. of Fellini. Now played out in front again. It's picked Keep off. Keep going. Got to attack him. By the Finns. Must attack him. They send this one high into the uh, sky. Goodness That's me, that nice. very nearly went in. That. I think it went, it went over the net, didn't it? It's one of those where you, you're kind of scanning because we lose it as soon as it goes high. You're looking everywhere for the book. And it landed right by the net. 
Yeah, I mean, I did lose track of it and uh, only seen it land behind the net, so that's... Uh, oh, here we go. Just above their own goal oh, line. That should not be icing. Farms does get a tip on that, but we'll take we'll take it. We'll take it. There is Lake behind the net. Does just oh, enough. Oh, no, don't go that way. You've got to attack him, Farms. Just sat off him, and now it will be an empty net goal, you would think. Finland have their fourth. They slide it home. Christian Kusela grabs the goal with Ben Bounds on the bench and Finland have a fourth. Darth your cap to Pete Russell and the coaching staff for giving it a go in this game. Yeah, I mean, we could have easily settled for a 3-0 uh, scoreline there, but we, we're going for, the, for a goal and, uh, I mean, you've got to say a win, but the other side of that is... You're practicing your six on five. If it is going to come down to Monday... Yeah. You're giving yourself a chance to have a little look at what you might need yeah, to do. Yeah. That was a pretty good six on five. Kirk's played well tonight. Actually. Yeah, he's played. I think this is probably his best game so far. Agreed. Absolutely um, agreed. He's, I think, a bit, been a bit more confident on the puck and um, made some nice plays. I mean, that was a good decision there in the neutral zone. Oh, oh no penalty on Ben Davies I mean let's have a look at this here he does get him yeah full, he gets him full blade right in the nose oh yeah yeah that's an easy call I don't think there's any blood though so there is Letton and again puts this one it comes off the mountain front yeah well done Jonathan Jonathan Phillips backhands down the ice excellent kill there I mean that's another positive we can take the kill is getting better against again uh, <laughs> A super skilled team. No! Backdoor goal. Lettinen jumping in. It was a beautiful pass. Lettinen nipped around the back of everybody. And he finished the defenseman smoothly easing into the play. And with 11.8 seconds to go, Finland have their fifth. Such a shame to give up that goal with 10 seconds to go. I mean, uh, just mentioning such a good kill. Watching it on the re replay here. Uh, I think there's a slight bit of duplication in the middle of the ice. Nobody taking the back door. Guy of, uh, I mean, I say nobody taking the back door. Look at this ring wide pass from corner to corner, pretty much. And, and a good defeat number five coming the way of Great Britain as the long range shot goes into the body of the netminder. He gets a shutout. Great Britain are beaten again here in Slovakia. But again, so many good moments in that game. A 5 0 final doesn't tell the full story. An empty net goal, uh, a late power play goal. Pete, that's another battling performance. You, you took them to, to the wire there. They only ran away with a couple of goals at the end. Yeah, we put a goal in and obviously a PK goal at the end. But they're a great team. We never created a lot of offense, but you know. But defensively, we're getting stronger, I think. We're not giving away as many odd man rushes, so, yeah. The experience for, for these boys, though, at this level has been remarkable. Yeah, for sure, and I think they're starting to get a little bit of grasp on the speed without the puck, and, you know, hopefully we can uh, find our best game when it really matters now. It's one eye on that. Obviously, you've got Slovakia to go. How do you prepare for a right. game like that? You use every game. It'd be great, full rank, you know, the place to be buzzing, and... We we'll see how everybody is, maybe making a couple of changes and give somebody a rest again. But uh, yeah, I can't ask for any more of them. They've been great. You know, they're blocking shots, they're playing hard. And, uh, you know, it'd be good if we could uh, find a real good game to try and make something happen. How important has that been with a 25-man squad and a, a 22 roster? You've been able to freshen things up, haven't you? Yeah, if you didn't have that, you'd be in trouble, I think. I think it keeps people going as well. It keeps... I guess people are maybe not having a great time and people need to, people injure like Matthew Miles has got a bad foot and you know to get able to bring someone else in normally you can't do that so it definitely helps. This is going to be great tonight this thing will be full Slovakians and, and the GB Barmy Army it's going to be some atmosphere isn't it? Yeah for sure they're a fast team and they need every point they can get so we'll have to be ready so we'll look forward to it. Well Robert you're, you're all interviewed out we're the last to get you but, but being serious starting with that one the difference at, at this level in the response from the media is, is fascinating isn't it? Yeah it's brilliant obviously it's uh, it's exciting and uh, yeah it's, it's something different and um, yeah we're happy to you know be at this level and we want to stay so. 
Yeah, in these last few minutes, you've spoken to Sweden, Slovakia and the New York Times, I think. Uh, what about tonight? Again, you, you gave it your all. It was good. It was, it was battling. Uh, how did you find it? They're a great team. They're, you know, top three in the world. They're a brilliant team. And we hung in there and we played well. And we had our chances too. And, you know, a bouncer over there. We could have been riding that game at the end. But, yeah, it was a great experience. They're, they're a great team. And I think, yeah, we played well and we're happy with our efforts. When you saw the group named and all these big superstars and the big teams, you know, is it everything you imagined it would be when you, you first thought about it? Yeah, well, you're playing against some of the best players in the world. It's... Uh, it's a challenge and it's an exciting challenge and I think the last uh, last couple of games we've definitely taken that head on and uh, played really well. What is the biggest challenge? Obviously they're quick but their decision making is quick too. Is, is that, are they two of the things? Yeah, they're all how fast they are, how fast they make, make plays and decisions and it's it's just a, it's, it's a total step up from anything we've ever played before and that's uh, the adjustment we had to make and maybe earlier in the week we weren't Making those, you know, we weren't as comfortable as we are now with uh, the style of play. I think the last couple of games we've grown and we've played really well and hung in there against two of the top teams in the world. You must be looking forward to tomorrow night because this building's been noisy thanks to GB fans and lots of other fans, but it's GB and Slovakia. It's going to be some atmosphere, I think. Yeah, well, we've heard some of the, the atmospheres of the Slovakia games and, yeah, it'll be exciting for sure. We're hoping to, you know, come in here and uh, play our best game again and see what happens.